Hello, today I'm going to show you how I do my tracheostomy tube exchange. Now I'm going to skip a couple steps, which you might want to do. So if you want a full, complete explanation on how to change a tracheostomy tube, please see the video, how to do a tracheostomy tube exchange at home. The first thing I'm going to do is get rid of my hair here because it gets in the way. So I'm just gonna put it up, tie it up, Put it back. Ha, ah, looks lovely. Next thing, I'm going to take my, my cuff here and make sure it is completely deflated. So, whoa. Okay, it is completely deflated. Can you see that? It is flat, 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 flat. All right, fabulous. All right, next thing, I am going to take my trach out of the box just to make it easier. So I just have this. I'm going to open this up after I have washed my hands. Another quick explanation before I wash my hands. You can probably use these lubricant jelly packets. These are really convenient and really neat, except my company, my DME company does not provide them. So I have to pay for them out of pocket. You have to buy 144 of these in a case. That's a lot. Even if you change your, your trach tube 12 times a year, you are going to have a 12 year supply of these. So since I don't get these covered, I just use lubricant jelly and this is super convenient. Comes in this cute little container and I'm gonna open this up and wipe it off with an alcohol swab, but not now because I don't want it open because I'm not using it at the moment. All right, we got all those things situated. So let me go wash my hands. Okay, I hope you enjoyed washing your hands as much as I did. Okay, I am now going to open my tracheostomy tube and this can be a little tricky because I can never get these open. So this is the hardest part of it and you just sometimes want to get this little corner here and it doesn't always come but today <gasps> I'm in luck because I'm taping and I don't want to look like a fool <laughs> okay all right open open I'm gonna set that over there because I'm talking and I don't want to get my spit onto it and it's over there so the next thing I am going to do is I'm gonna get this obturator out it's right here this blue thing, and it's very difficult. Hello, it is now time for a very important announcement. This is an obturator. It is extremely important. Please use this when inserting a tracheostomy tube. So many people tell me they do not use this. They just throw it away and I'm not sure why. Let me show you. Here is your tracheostomy tube. Let's insert the obturator. It's very simple. You just insert it. Doo, boo, boo. Ah, it's so fun and so exciting. Once this is inserted, you can put some lubricant jelly on and insert it into your trachea. Let me demonstrate why this is so important. It has a rounded tip. Do you see that right there? Beautiful, wonderful. It can easily slip into your tracheostomy hole and be inserted. Let me show you what happens when you do not use an obturator. Here is a tracheostomy tube without the obturator. You see it has this edge on the end and this edge can get stuck in your trachea. So you're trying to insert this and this edge will get stuck on your trachea and you will not be able to get it inside or you'll have to use a lot of force and that can cause damage to your trachea or it can even rip your tracheostomy. This will cause a lot of bleeding and pain and it should not, should not be painful to insert the tracheostomy tube. Let me show you the difference between using the obturator and no obturator. See, if you look, look at that. You can see how this obturator gives us nice extended point and this one without it does not. See, look at that. And you can see how the, the ends are right there. See, you can see how this raw end can get stuck and this has a nice smooth end. The other cool thing about this is it has a hole. Do you see that hole? Let me show you. It has a hole. 
look inside and oops don't drop it all right if you look inside you can breathe through that and that is really important because you insert this you would not be able to breathe if there was no hole but there is a hole so you can breathe but don't rely on that totally because it is still partially obstructed and still very hard to breathe through. So as soon as you get this in and get it secured, please take the obturator out. Boop. And now you can fully and completely breathe through your tracheostomy tube. So very, very important. Please also, when you're done with this, don't just go, ah, I'm done. I don't ever need to use that again wrong. This can be a life-saving tool. Let me demonstrate. Here is your tracheostomy tube and you're going, oh, I got a mucus plug. I can't breathe. What am I going to do? One thing you can do is if you do not use an inner cannula, you can pull this out and very carefully insert a clean obturator inside and all the mucus that's inside is going to get pushed out and it's going to get pushed out onto this little tip and you can take a little piece of paper paper toweling and carefully wipe off all that mucus now all the mucus is out of the tracheostomy tube what can you do now put a little bit of lubricant jelly in there and reinsert the tracheostomy tube so reinsert the tracheostomy tube and Take that out and the tracheostomy tube is inside and all that lovely, awful, nasty, mm, pluggy mucus is out of the tracheostomy tube. So this is very important. This can save your life. What should I do once I'm done with my tracheostomy tube exchange? Great question. I'm glad you asked. Take a clean, clean container. Take your obturator, set it inside. Take some soap and put it inside and then put some hot water in there and swirl it around, swirl it around and let this sit for 20 minutes, I don't know, until it is safe to put your fingers inside and carefully, when I say carefully, I do mean carefully, get this up but only touch it at this rim. Do not grab it right here because now it is dirty. Please touch it by this rim. This rim will never go inside your tracheostomy. So you're safe to touch it with this. Once you grabbed it by this, set it on clean toweling. Let it air dry on the clean toweling. And once it is air dry, take some clean toweling and wrap it up. Put it inside a clean plastic baggie, zip lock it shut, and now you have this for in case you get a mucus plug. This is extremely important. Please, please use it to insert your tracheostomy tube uh, and also save it, clean it, and reuse it in case you get a clog in your tracheostomy tube. All right, that's a little bit about your obturator and how extremely important it is. Now, let's go back to my tricky Ask Me Tube Exchange video. Bye! Obturator is out. Now I'm going to try to get this tricky Ask Me Tube out and put this obturator in. I did it. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, now I'm going to carefully put this back in the tray and have not touched this area with the tray with my hand and voila. Okay. Next, I'm taking my lubricant jelly. I'm going to open it and wash it off with this uh, alcohol wipe. Oh. Okay, here we go. Rub a dub dub, rub a dub dub, rub a dub bub bub bub. I think that looks pretty good. Yes. All right. Now I'm going to take a tiny little bit, and when I mean a tiny little bit, I mean a tiny little bit. Don't put a lot on here because you're going to put that in your airway, and you're going to be choking on lubricant jelly for the rest of the day. So I'll put a tiny bit in, and that's what I'm going to do here. Okay, got this tiny little bit. Whoa, here we go. That's a lot, but oh well. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right, so I got a tiny little bit on the end of my tracheostomy tube. I don't know if you can see that. It shows a tiny little bit. So now that I have that all situated, 
okay, now that I have that situated, I'm going to close this because I don't want this to accidentally fall or get all yucky. So bye-bye. All right. I'm going to take off my, um, my uh, tricky ask me tube holder and I'm just going to leave this around my neck. I'm going to change it tomorrow because my tricky ask me tube holder, um, it doesn't fit right when you first put it on and you have to get used to it. And you put a new trach tube in and a new trach tube holder. It's a lot of change. I don't like that. I get too flustered. So instead I change my tracheostomy tube. I keep this old one on until probably tomorrow. Once my body's used to the tracheostomy tube, then I will go back and change this because once I have the tracheostomy tube in, my body's used to it, I can deal with this change. But doing this change and this change, my brain's like, ah, I don't like it. Okay, now I'm gonna take this off, but I have to take my ventilator off. So see you later, bye. All right, yeah, we did my tracheostomy tube exchange. All right, this thing is all wound up and that usually happens. And you might want to unwind it. Uh. Okie dokie. Yeah, well, you know. All right, <laughs> and now you got it all curly. Anyways, I am good to go and it is all changed. And that was wonderful, exciting, and thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a wonderful day, a great day, a gorgeous day, and happy tracheostomy tube exchange. All right, bye.